living in the concrete jungle. With the vines latch on and the time catch on to a nigga anytime he stumble. When the nine latch on to the hip pack on with the zip. With the song and the hoop go along with the strip. From the nine block that belong to the crisp. From the sass on to the mask on but the list. This batch on and the track on got a dip. Big crowd by the Occitino spot. Ain't proud of the pots like Nemo got either jammed up. God took his hand and we couldn't man up. Time to the sand up. When a nigga laid down his heat, got his hand up. Or died to police with a nigga hands up. Single minds in the house in the canned up. Trying to flick grands when we scan, get a band up. Cause he broke out here. Rain hard, never been cash crash. Only brought smoke out here. Hum through the line, never spoke out here. Niggas tie rope cause of what they wrote out here. Only pen for the memoirs, got a fend off. Street fights translate to the chem boss. Uptown, we ten toes down to a nigga underground where the roots don't fend for. Uptown, uptown, Harlem, Rucker, Cup Town, Cup Brown. Uptown, uptown, barbers, ups and bust downs. One five five by the highway, one ten by the part two fifth on the Friday, nigga. No sleep, creep when they get back, get that bread to be dead in the skyway, nigga. Uptown, uptown, Harlem, Rucker, Cup Town, Cup Brown. Uptown, uptown, barbers, ups and bust downs. One five five by the highway, one ten by the part two fifth on the Friday, nigga. No sleep, creep when they get back, get that bread to be dead in the skyway, nigga. Coco, mango, cherry, sea town, fat mark, high. Barry, Bronk, Hock in the ride, Jason, Terry, Fat Thorns in the black floor, I'm Mary's. Trade bags, 5-5 five, five in the Dutch, two splits, more blunts, put the heads in the staircase. Ain't that 5-5 five, five in the ruck, nine block, man, hub, mom, dukes in the hair place. Zoo niggas on the hearse, stamps on the first kids in the headlines. Blue niggas by the church, sending through the hurt kids, doing fat time. Chris Brown ain't here for the guidance, every two minutes, more sirens, violence. Rip pound move with the silence, silence, clip round, flew to your iris, iris. In a flash like Barry Allen, we do the dash with Cosme, we roll them chips on top to one scary island, they very violent, he's scared, he's silent, like, we already ate, fuck that time, reaper tut tight when it's bad time, red line, serve his margins, where we marginalize, we starve in the yard to the garden arrives. Uptown, uptown, Harlem, Rucker, cup down, cup brown, uptown, uptown, barbers, ups and bust downs, one five five by the highway, one ten by the part two fifth on the Friday, nigga, no sleep, creep on the get back, get that bread to be dead in the skyway, nigga. Uptown, uptown, Harlem, Rucker, cup brown. Uptown, uptown, barbers, ups and bust downs. One five five by the highway, one ten by the part two fifth on the Friday, nigga. No sleep, creep on the get back, get that bread to be dead in the skyway, nigga. Yo, we are here live once again. Ball Sector Podcast here to talk some hoops. We have a full house today. Myself, E. Loden, John, and our intern is back. Shout out TJ. Uh, and a lot of pain because, you know, the recent news. But hey, we're here to talk about that and more. Ball Sector Podcast. You know, you can find us on all the audio platforms, et cetera, et cetera. If you want to see us live, Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. So, hey, before we get into everything, how is everyone doing? Could be better, could be worse. Rough yeah, nose, man. Don't be sad. It happens. <sighs> hey, I'm happy you're sad about it. A lot of Knicks fans, I mean, for the last two years, been wishing something like this would happen. So, I mean, I don't mean to be like that, but it's different. I mean, like... it, you know, I mean, it's sad for us because we we appreciate Randall for what he's doing. You know what I mean? All star. You know what I mean? But I mean, to jump into it, let's 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 get into this little Knicks news. How are you feeling, TJ? With uh, Randall out for the season, um, it's more so like I'm used to seasons ending like they fail me, feel me. Sure, but they didn't even get the chance to like that's. I just would have rather we lose like full strength instead of potentially losing with just missing our all star. Um, sure. I mean, I'm the delusional because I'm a Nick man, so I like how we play with OG. So of course, like if he come back, I'm gonna be delusional again, but. It's tough. Can't do Plus, we it. got Bogdan Bogdanovich, who's injured, could be coming back. Plus, we got Hartenstein. I mean, Mitchell coming back. I mean, I, I'd like to have hope, hopefully. You know what I mean? I think, I mean, hopefully, uh, Tom Thibodeau's, his rotations have gotten better. I kind of think they have just because of the addition of McBride, you know what I mean, into that rotation. Man, uh, but, you know, playoff, you know, it's almost playoff time, seven more games, and I'm, I'm excited. It's we're not fully healthy. We won't be this year. You know what I mean? So, I mean, yeah. I, maybe it, it tones down expectations a little bit, but maybe, I mean, winning's winning. So, I mean, it, we'll have to see what happens. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're, we're going to get hyped. You know us. We're next nah, year. Yeah, for sure. Regardless. <laughs> yeah, wins and losses because, you know, last year. Rip. <laughs> how do the non nick fans feel about this news? Let's, let's, let's get into that too. Mr. Elod, how are we doing today? 
Tibbs never learns, man. You think so? You think this on Tibbs? Niggas is up 17 with four minutes left in the fourth. Oh, oh damn. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, but yeah, I mean, I also feel like every time we play the the Heat, somebody get hurt because somebody tried to take a charge. That that's my biggest problem with them. But I mean, is he fully healthy coming back? I mean, this might be a, a way to look at the training staff. Like, what the hell are you doing? You know what I mean? That has nothing to do with the training staff. It's literally you know, so? it's Tibbs, bro. Like literally, no, but it's also I Mitchell being out. It's also we got hurt with so little time left. Like, bro, I get that. Yeah, no doubt, I get that. Playing the Heat, they're not about to sit here and Steph Curry. You know, shoot their way back into the game like Why that. Why not? I mean, we have better record than the Heat. Why the couldn't Heat we get not, back in that game? The Heat are not going to do that. I, no, we were I, know, I understand that. I'm just saying, why can't? Yeah, they're, they're, they're not going to give up a yeah. lead. I understand oh, that. John, but why can't the Knicks get back in the game? John, y'all were already up. Y'all were up 17. Yeah, I know. And then I know. And then we got injured. And then I yeah, thought he, I was he just. Of, he should have been out. Did we lose game. by 10 in that game? Or am I confusing that with a different game? Different game. No, we won. Okay, my bad. Sorry. It was a different Heat game. My bad. Sorry. Yeah, y'all were up 17. Okay. Four minutes left. Take Pull your stars, bro. Mm, I hear you. I hear you. This injury is on Tibbs. Eh, I don't know. I mean, plus, he's playing Josh Hart 48 minutes a night. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he, he is playing people too. up until, you know what I mean? I, I get what you're saying. I mean. Yeah, until their bodies run down to the ground. This injury is on Tibbs. Yeah. Mm, I guess. I, I think. My opinion. I, uh, besides that, how, what else? How's your day been going, Mister Eloden? I've been chilling, man. Thing. Um, you? Uh, for, for me, pretty good. Hey, happy the squad's here. Um, we got we got a lot of th- things to talk about basketball wise, and we got some challenges for TJ, the intern, because he he wanted to um, <laughs> try some of the games out. Maybe call somebody out. We'll see how this goes later on down the show. But hey, um, March Madness is also. Almost wrapping up. I think it's start. I think it ends next week, seventh and eighth of the championship games. So hey, we're here to talk about what happened leading up to this. Uh, women's first. We'll talk about that. Uh, LSU Iowa, twelve million viewers. So shout out. They put one out one hell of a game. Caitlin Clark drops forty one and torques LSU to move on against uh, the final four against UConn. Out of all four. So we thought the LSU Iowa game. Besides, like, absolutely crazy because we watched that um, live on our. Um, Playback Monday, so me, John, Elijah. Who do you want to go first? A TJ. Okay. Thanks. So I was on a I was on a group call with like three of my yeah. friends watching it, and it was just like I know somebody said it on Twitter, and I'm gonna steal this quote. It was like every time she shot the ball, I got the same feel that I felt when Steph shot in 2016. Like I just felt like every shot was going in, and then when it did go in, it was just like damn, like she's really like this. Like it was. The best woman's performance I've seen. The game was great up until she went crazy. After that, um, LSU's offense kind of upset me, the way they were running it. But nah, like, that was probably my first full game watching her play. Like, yeah, it lived up to it. Yeah. Also, shout out CJ on Twitch in the chat. Yeah, Caitlin, Caitlin got it for the reason why she's going to be the number one draft pick coming up in the WNBA draft. Yeah, so, sure. shout out. Thank you, CJ, for showing up in the chat. Appreciate you. Uh, John, how, how'd you feel the, about the game? Uh, I don't know. I feel good about the game. Um... I mean, she she was amazing. Uh, they didn't double team her at all. You know what I mean? We were watching yeah. that throughout the game. Island by island, HVN. It was, just like, it was okay, but she was destroying everybody. And then her teammates yeah. were getting in on the action too. It was. Uh, yeah. Did you see that Skulky play where, after, against Angel Reese at the end with that like little pass? It she was, was nominating a whole team. I know. Yeah. So I mean, it's it, it's going to be interesting to see how they get in against UConn. I feel oh, like yeah, we got mixed opinions on that. Who's going to win that game? But I mean, it, she did look like Steph. It, she did oh, look man. automatic. I will give you that. There's nothing to argue there. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, Mr. LSU, how do you feel about it? Um, HBL is a clone. That's how I feel about it. <laughs> oh, she's, she's out of there. She just transferred. So we'll see what she. Oh no, there. she's just in the portal. She could come back, but yeah. Oh, yeah, she's in the portal. But I mean, I, I... Yeah. no comment. Um. <laughs> That that wasn't the matchup for for LSU to be able to win that game. So you know that's that's a coaching error. Flaw J should have been on on Caitlin. You feel me? Even if Caitlin still went for forty, you feel me? Those those assists wouldn't have been there. You feel me? Flaw J is more like aggressive. She would have really attacked Caitlin. I feel on defense. She's and, a uh, 
Granted, you know a little bit of Flaugé on offense, but... Nah, yeah, that's the only thing I was about to say. She was really the only other person scoring for real. So, like... It was like... I feel like we lost HVL on offense because she was guarding Kaylin because she chased sure. him around. That's, yeah. Like, like, Lawrence brought it up last night how literally every screen, here go HVL trying to hedge, get over it. Like, yo, if they started switching on the screens earlier, everything would have been good. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Um, what up? Um, Hi, everyone. What are you doing? Why are you doing my It's over here. Yes, I guess. Here. I'm sorry. What do you think of Angel Reese's uh, performance, though? She she played okay. She played solid. You feel me? Uh, here, seventeen twenty though. Pretty. I mean, I mean, it's, it's, solid, bro. it's Angel Reese. I got what I expected out of Angel. Yeah. Double double was there. True. Yeah. But like I said, but she she dominated that game. Um, I don't know. I don't know about all that. I'll say dominated. First, first half, the, the first big half, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah first half she did good, but second half she had the spirit. Yeah. She played an Angel Reese game. Let's say that though. Yeah, like sure. She didn't let down. She did what she was supposed yeah. to do. We lost because of not being able to guard Caitlin and sure. the fact that HVL, I feel like we lost HVL on offense because she was tired from chasing Caitlin around. Sure. I think they should have ran through Flo J more since she wasn't playing defense on her. Fact. But they were still trying to run through HVL. So, like, that's, that was tough. Well, not really run through her, but she was heavily in. She was trying to run the point, yeah, and also yeah. be exhausted, yeah. It's, I totally hear that. HBL after that game, get ready to learn Taiwanese, buddy. But um, <laughs> you bugging? I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. I love HBL. Like, I, know, I, love we all, I do too. So, um, what else we got? Like <laughs> for that for that game. Other than that, yeah, CJ Caitlin got it, bro. Nice. Like, leaving. She's leaving college with a ring. You think so? I don't think so. I don't know. I mean, hey, um, before we get into that. Age got one when she she was a rookie. Feel me? No, I don't think she did. No, she did. We can check that, but I don't think she did. Paige? Bukers? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm pretty sure she didn't, but. Well, she missed two years, too, man. Well, with COVID as well. But, and I think she's coming back. I don't know. She might be going to the draft. I mean that that's and that's the thing with Angel Reese's announcement. Like I was, I'm kind of all happy for her, but Not she yet. said she was coming yeah. back originally. You know what I mean? And but I, I don't know. It's gonna be interesting to see what happens I mean, with that. Yeah, from that game. I mean, hey, just the the get women's game is evolving. More people are finally tuning in. Sure. It just it just took a, a, icons like you know Caitlyn, Angel, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, Juju, Paige. Like it took a lot of stop power for. For eyes to be on the women's college team, so hey, hopefully it expands from there. Paige is looking to lead the charge. Um, as soon as Caitlin leaves, hopefully you know more people are behind her. So hey, I'm excited to see where the game goes after that. But then also uh, speaking of Juju, Juju uh, UConn and USC came down late, but UConn won to set up that matchup against apparently almost UConn Husky Caitlin Clark. So it's going to be. Very interesting to, to see how Caitlin Clark plays against UConn, especially since it, she felt like she was snubbed by them. So that was her dream school and all. So it's been very, the storylines are setting up right there. Like I said, championship her. Immediately. You think so? I mean, is, this is she's also going against Junior Amir and UConn. I mean, it's going to be interesting to see the coaching differences between Moki. Yeah, UConn? Oriyama? Yeah, Gino. Uh, Oriyama. Gino Oriyama? <laughs> Sorry, it rolled off the tongue weird. What do you want me to say? No, I know I know who the name is. I didn't hear what you said. That's all I was okay. Got you. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's going to be interesting to see the differences in coaching style and how they she he handles Clark versus how she did. You know what I mean? It's going to be – I mean, Paige guarded the best player that she played uh, against. Maybe it'll happen again. Maybe it won't. We'll have to see. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah. I have a question. If you were the if – you, if this is your situation, how are you playing this? Are you going to just let Caitlin do whatever and make everybody – and shut everybody else down? No, I'm, I'm very uh, UConn basketball. I'm double team. I'm – yeah. I mean, it's 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 going to be interesting to see how it goes. I mean, I think they're going to have an initial plan, but I also think that if it's not working, you change it up. You know what I mean? You don't let it go like LSU, like, oh, we're going to stick to the game plan, stick to the game yeah. plan, and then she goes off. Because Angel Reese was complaining that whole first quarter about people attempting dumb shots. Like, I don't mean to be like that, but she was. And I and she had a point, you know what I mean? Because later on in the game, when they didn't make a couple shots, Clark went off, and then there was no coming back. You know what I mean? So, it, it it's 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 a slippery slide, especially with her. I mean, this, 
the best part about women's basketball to me is the team effect of it. You know what I mean? Like she's had some of these players on her team for four or five years. You know what I mean? So they, they know, you know what I mean? So it's, yes. it's going to be interesting. Yeah. Um, I don't, I think, damn, it's going to be tough with the whole storylines and everything, but it does look like Caitlin's set to leave the college, college with a ring. Is this, I, I mean, know. I, I I feel like there's another, it's another revenge game set up after the story came out about her wanting to go to UConn, but they never gave her a ring or a call. So I don't know. Well, I'm, as of right now, I'm going with uh, Caitlin to beat UConn. Sure, absolutely. But the conversation nobody wants to have is what happens if she doesn't win a ring. Hey, I mean, she'll go down as one of the best scorers of all time. Can never win history. a ring. Hey. Is she the best women's college basketball player now? No, it's Brianna Stewart. I, I mean, it's just, I, just, I don't mean to be like that, but yeah. I have a, right a now. Push, what, oh, right now? Or are we talking about all time? All time. All time is probably Stevie, probably. Because she's won four AP players in a row, and then she's won four national championships in a row. So you can argue that she doesn't have the usage of Kate and Clark, but you can argue that Kate and Clark so never won one, so how can she be considered the number one? You know what I mean? It's just – if you give Brianna Stewart the usage that you have Caitlin Clark having, yeah. I mean, she they play yeah. the game completely different. One's a guard, one's a forward center. You know what I mean? So it's it's completely different. But it, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, but I mean, hey, I mean, I, of course, she cemented herself as one of the great scorers of all time in college history. It's just the whole is she one of the greatest dude with accolades and championships, et cetera, et cetera. So I think they're always going to compare like Brianna Stewart, Maya Moore, those sure. type of players to Caitlin Clark, which I don't think. Legacy wise, Parker, as Parker well. as well. So, okay, yeah. But um, so we got we got UConn or Iowa before we move on to the men's. I got Iowa. Iowa, TJ. I got UConn. I got UConn. Oh, Iowa. Ooh, ooh. It's gonna be interesting. Uh, Iowa could go all the way. You're right. You're you're everything you're saying is right. You know what I mean, like she and could then, be considered the best. So you got Iowa. Yeah. And then we, we, do we all got um, South Carolina winning that yes. matchup against the state? Yeah, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, so speaking of NC State, uh, DJ Burns and, hey, you can call whatever you want, Escalade, uh, Zach Randolph Jr., but they have a great big matchup versus uh, Zach Eady and Purdue. And then the other Final Four matchup, UConn versus Alabama. How are we feeling about the Final Four? Who moves on and goes to the championship? Which two teams are you guys picking? I'm not going to lie to you. I haven't been watching as much. Only oh, thing I know – It's good. It's good. I'm telling you. Only No, nah, I'm going to watch these games. I haven't okay. been watching the, the tournament up to this point like that. Um, I just know UConn's been winning every game by, like, significant amounts. Yeah, like, yeah. it's not even close. So, I just feel like they're on a different level right now. Um, DJ's been hooping, but I, I, I haven't watched enough to really say. Like, I, I know they're going to be great games, though, so I'm definitely tuning in. Gotcha. I know this is going to make me sound like such an old head, but like this, this final four kind of reminds me of watching the documentary of Jimmy Valvano and their final four in 86 when NC state the last time they were there. Cause they I'm played did, right? up about NC state. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I mean, they played Houston, NC state played Houston, right. In the final four and Houston had Clyde Drexler. They had everybody, you know what I mean? And I'm pretty sure that Elijah one too, right? No, Elijah one played somewhere else. Right. I don't, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, but they they play they played Houston and uh, it was like a high scoring like like a huge like Final Four matchup and then they they NC State went on to beat Houston in the the championship. But I mean, yeah, Alabama has no defense. You know what I mean? So if UConn can just outscore Alabama, personally, I think they win this game. You know what I mean? It's it's really. I mean, I think UConn can play defense. I'm not trying to talk anything about people. I'm just saying like one of the things that. I mean, I've heard or a, a lot of people have criticized Alabama on is their defense. So yeah, um, for me, I'm going to UConn and Purdue. I think the battle number one is here for the championship because we've seen uh, Zach Eady and Purdue has fell short so many times the last two years, especially getting knocked down in the first or second round. The last two March Badnesses, and I think this is probably the year they actually. Who is Zach Eady? Him. I I guess I get I get against Mr. DJ Burns. We hope That's so. But, I think they at least they at least get to a championship. I don't know if they win it, but they they you know fell short so the first two times, and I think Zach Eady is a senior, so this is final chance, and I think he at least goes out with a championship appearance. I don't know is about Burns a senior. 
Uh, I have no clue, actually. Is he like a super senior? Type? I don't he know. Might, I mean, he's he been there for mad long. He might not be at all either. It's crazy because I don't know anything about anybody on any of these teams. I just know Burns and Edie with Phil. He's because they're the two big guys. Bro. And there's been talk about Burns maybe going to the NFL. That that was like kind of funny talk. But six nine two seventy five. Oh, he's a he's a graduate. He's a graduate student. Okay, cool. So it's yeah, it's his last year too. It's, it's I mean, it's gonna be interesting. I'm going NC State UConn, but that's just I mean, I, I I'm for the Cinderella, and I I I didn't have enough faith in NC State. Like we picked him to go to the Final Four, but then we had him losing. Remember, Phil? Yeah. Ridiculous. Hey, Bryce, I, we we predicted NC State Final Four, so I'll take that. That is better than nothing, in my opinion. But hey, hey, so we're gonna see how that plays out. We might go live for one of those games. Um, my pick is UConn and yeah. Purdue. Thank oh you. yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. I mean, can we wait for his <laughs> pick. My apologies. You said I sorry. I, I you said you said earlier you didn't watch much of the game, so my fault. My bad. What was it? UConn and Purdue. 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 My apologies, sir. Um, but you like UConn one in and all. I mean, me personally, yes. No, I'm talking to Elijah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Even though you think there's a chance UConn can't win it all by any chance, you know, just in case. John, I, feel, I feel like this is like, you know, uh, this might be like motivation. <laughs> I'm, just, for, I'm uh, just wondering. You know what I mean? This is March. I mean, well, it's April now, so, I mean, there's no more matter. Like I said, I haven't been paying attention, so I can't put much thought into this. Okay. Okay. Valid point. Valid point. Yeah, I'm just going off the fact that they won a game by like 20. Like, <laughs> they did. They got some valid points. That's crazy. Like, yeah, do you know I wonder why I sent the bracket into Phil originally. Like, Every pick was vibes. Yeah. Yeah. I, hear that. I had no knowledge of anything. Well, and that's the best part about it. Three college basketball players this year. That's DJ Burns, Tyson Walker, mm-hmm. Rob Dillingham. Mm-hmm. That's it. I hear you. That's it. There you go. Yeah. I mean, no, John just wants to win the bracket challenge. That's why. That's why he was No, I mean, you can't pull it off. Because if, if you got loses in the final four or the championship, he wins the challenge. So if, 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 if they, if you can't win the championship, I win. So. It's going to be interesting. Sounds like John has better odds. Yeah. I picked against UConn, though. Yeah, but it sounds like you have better odds because as, as soon as Luke, UConn loses, yeah, yeah. you're done. I hope. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? chances for UConn to lose. Phil only has one chance. UConn has yeah. to lose. So, Although yeah. I'm not going to – up front, I, I did have UConn going pretty far in my original bracket. Like, I had them losing eventually. You know what I mean? Just because, like, it's it's March. You know what I mean? But yeah. they're good. I mean yeah. – Okay. We'll see how that plays out. Um, hey, MLB season just kicking off as well. Um, uh, Red Sox are actually, you know, somewhat decent. They're not the worst team in the league right now. Thank you, Miami Marlins. Yeah. But, um, this should be the NBA pod. Can we not talk about baseball today? I just... Oh yeah, because yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, it's, it's it's a soft spot for baseball right now. Did you hear about Fisher though? though? Which one? Uh, it, uh, the owner uh, from the Oakland A's. They just announced. Today oh yeah. That they're spending two uh, years in Sacramento and then oh, going yeah, to Las Vegas, which I don't, yeah, they, I don't believe that. Yeah, the A's do not want to go to Las Vegas because Oakland. Oof. Tragic. But hey, hey, we'll see how that goes. Um, hey, NBA. So do we want to rip the we, – we already talked about Randall being out for the year, so I'm pretty sure we ripped the Band-Aid off of that one already. So OG just game. got cleared for contact. Yeah, let's talk about how J- – Jason Tatum hasn't had 50 yet. Let's talk about that, Phil. Mm. All right. Some people are not playing up to their expectations. But, all right? Wait. Also, let's and talk you know about – If they don't win the champ this year, I think that's a big thing, not playing up to their expectations. Let's just put that out there. Crazy. But, Talk dirty, we can also, I said it. But also, let's, let's talk about, you know, Mr. Devin Booker showing up, you know, shooting threes at a high clip. No, and, no, 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 no. We're not <laughs> <laughs> no, hold on. Yeah, no, 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 Next year, yes, yep. no, yeah. it's have, this year. No, they're, they're gonna have the same core, same team. Jason the Tatum is the do. biggest fraud if they don't win mm. it this year. Bill is the most patient biggest Celtics fraud? fan ever. I don't know about Are biggest you fraud. I feel like biggest fraud. Bill is friend. Mm. Well, <laughs> I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't know. As, as a Knicks fan, I don't know. That's Who's on your team? Who's huh? your point guard? Uh, Drew Holiday. Who's your shooting guard? Derek White. Who's your other shooting guard? What do you mean? Other shooting guards? 
Jalen Brown is obviously an actual shooting guard. He's not a. He's, he's, not he's a starting three. He's not a three. Oh, he's just he's a small well, forward. That's, that's, that's that's small. You guys play small, but Jalen Brown's start, a two. I'm, I'm just giving you the starting lineup. I, I, I thought All you were right, wrong. fine. Who's your three? Uh, Jalen. Oh, wow. Who's your four? Jason Tatum. Who's your five? Uh, a former Nick, Chris Afterzingis. Wow. What reason do y'all have to lose any game? Having a great year, by the way. I, I never said. Know. I never said that wasn't a reason. What reason do y'all have to not win the championship this year? No, not at all. Uh, that's why I'm saying we're gonna have that same team next year. So, oh yes, years. Jason Tatum is one, probably the technically Drew a free agent. Drew is uh, technically a free agent. He's not gonna pull a Kyrie. He said he, he wants to come back. You don't to think Boston. so? He said he wants to retire in Boston. So, let's see. <laughs> oh, you really got no alliances. Huh? It's the NBA. You shouldn't. Marcus it's Cousins said he want to retire in Sacramento. Like, so, what, you, what are we talking about here? What are we talk about here? But we we didn't pull a Milwaukee on him, so. I'm pretty sure he likes us more than Milwaukee. So uh, where else would he go to, anyways? But that's that's the, not besides the. I point know where that. else would he go to? You, you acting like there's not twenty. Where is he from? Hold on, let's let's look that up for a second. Those money at like him, man. There's at least there's at least six teams I can see him going to. D'Lo's a free agent after this year. The Lakers could throw him money. Okay, I mean, the Lakers crazy. That's kind of wild. The Heat have that. money. Okay, the Sixers have money. Tobias Harris is off them books, okay? For, for, for real? That is. They've been waiting to unload his contract. <laughs> okay, but, people have money. San Antonio. They would probably right. love to pair Drew with Wemby. All right. That's, that's, we're getting a little too far now. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just naming teams that could possibly go after him, though. That's facts, so. though. I think that, everybody I would. mean. Wemby is like I don't like he there. I don't you know what I mean? I'm not we're saying not like about Wemby right now. We're not talking about Wemby right I know, now. I know, I know, I know. I'm just saying <laughs> players would want to go play with him though. I'm, I'm I mean, it, it is a must win year for the Celtics. Absolutely. There's no that, that's it, there's nice no game, next right? year. You guys have this year. That's it. Mm, I'm saying in. This year, next year, Max. That's it. I'm Guess saying where he's from, Phil. Where? Los Angeles, California. Why would he not want to go home? Clippers, to be hey. <laughs> I mean, why would he not want to be home? He's 33, though. So, I mean, when is he going to retire? The next three well, years? Well, because, because LeBron's out there. LeBron's probably out the door soon, and the Lakers are going to be shut as soon as he leaves. So, I mean. Do you really think LeBron leaving the Lakers? You though? still wouldn't want to go home to he's be. He's going to retire. I'm not going to say he's going to leave LA. He's probably going to retire soon. He said he has like two, three years max. Did he say that? Yes. He said, he said it's like my retirement. He said it's is coming soon. soon, but I also don't believe it. No offense, I don't. I mean, we also got to see it to believe it as well. But he did say his re- his retirement is like imminent. It's like really, really soon. And I'm thinking like two, three years tops. I think three years, but I think three. Honestly, four. unless Bronny take a leap, we we could we could relax because Bronny gonna be in there for a little minute, bro. Oh, he he I'm saying he might stay in the league to play with Bryce at this point. <laughs> and Not Bryce, word. Bryce might behind? catch up, and he might be like, you know what? I just stay for him too. Is, is Bryce a year behind Bronny? Two, uh, two. Two? Okay. Yeah. That's not bad though. Because yeah. really yeah, where Bryce Bronny, can go to Bronny school. Depending on where Bronny ends up, hopefully he stays at USC. I wouldn't leave if I was him. But um What if you got like a better offer like Kentucky or like like he's uh, not getting playing time. I know. Yeah, I'm, I, what I mean at all? What, at Kentucky? Yeah. You don't think he, he he's a six not man? Not from what I saw this year. I think he'd yeah. be a six man. I don't know. I think he'd be a six man anywhere personally. If he but. goes to like freaking Davidson, no offense, Davidson. Okay. <laughs> I mean, go wait mean, for it. They're it. strong within their conference. You know what I mean? It's that's yeah, what it's, no, it's about. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, yeah, he can go whoop somewhere else that's at a lesser school, but he's at a sure. power five school right now. You feel me? Like, sure. Not power but at five. the same time, is that power five school doing everything they need to do to get to the tournament? Are they doing everything they need to do to get their players? You know what I mean? Like, when's the last time USC has been relevant in basketball? Other than women's. No offense. I don't mean to be like that, but I ain't going to lie. They were relevant a few years ago. We'll ask. It's probably 14, 16, 18. I'm thinking that's just DeMar DeRozan. <laughs> no, definitely <laughs> definitely before DeRozan. I will give you that. I'm not trying to be like that. I'm just saying, like, like I'd want to go to a place where I could at least be seen a little bit more. Do you know what I mean? Like Creighton or, I don't know, maybe not, but they were high seed in a, a not big conference. Uh, The last time they were, uh, 2021. Okay. That's pretty close. Did, how far did they go? Elite eight. Oh, that's not bad. That's pretty good, actually. And I, I graduated and transferred or whatever. 
Yep. Fantasy four. Yeah. So yeah. But hey. that's nice though. Right after COVID, good for them. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I think Bronny should stay, but like I said, Braun might stay until Bryce. So I wouldn't be surprised if Drew Holiday signs a nice little team friendly. Well, maybe not team friendly, but a nice little two year deal in LA. Mm-hmm. I can see it. So I really, I really do think that the Celtics have this year and this year only because. I mean, come on. I can see that, yeah. Y'all have – bro, this is the year for y'all. That was okay. the way if you the, don't win one, you're going to become the new OKC. You're going to be the, the team that we talked about how you should have won one, and you never did. I don't mean to be like that. Oh, no, that's, that's true. That's how we look at it. Yeah, because when mean, did y'all go to the finals? Y'all win? 20, two years right? ago. 2022. Two years ago? Yes. Yeah, bro. And it, it's been Easter Conference finals like at the max. Uh, like that was the last Eastern Conference years. Finals for like the last four years. Yeah, I think you missed one year, maybe. But yeah, that's what when Jalen Brown was hurt. That was when we got swept by the Nets. Well, like no four one against the Nets, yeah. and then we swept them right back. TJ reminiscing on good times, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I miss Kyrie. Damn, Kyrie on the team. Shit. <laughs> but I, mean, <laughs> I, I don't know what. You're... I'll say that about the Knicks. Okay, y'all lost Julius Randle, so I'm not expecting much. Y'all are probably gonna see um. Or in the first round, and I think it'll be a four-one. Jalen will probably okay. get you one. Jalen can get you two, maybe. Okay. But not at full strength. You guys are done. Eh, I so, think they could beat Orlando up with, with no Randall, though. I, I think the second round might be tough for them. It's, I think it is possible that they can beat Orlando, but the difference is Orlando is at full strength. Yeah. Sure. Sure. The fact that you don't have Julius, you're not at full strength. You feel me? Like. Sure. Yeah, I just think because the that- first round, kudos to you. I'll even clap it up, and I hate the Knicks. You feel me? But. Same. Y'all not making it out the second round. Yeah, I think I, we definitely making it out the first round. Yeah, I think out of, out of, out of uh, yeah, I think out of experience, I think they do get past Orlando. But I think it's it's probably guys could slip all the way to the play in. Or I don't think huh? so. No, no. In seven they're games. Like they're like the. No, they, they can't. Our schedule not that crazy coming up. I know we got the Kings tonight, but after yeah. that, it's I, like, I I just think with the only with two the and a half games above Indiana, who has the first play in spot, so it is possible that oh. you guys slide. But I don't. Yeah, think, I doubt it. Yeah. On um. But seven games, we lose seven games. That'd be crazy. I don't think you guys are seven though. No. I don't know who's Probably. the rest of your schedule. You guys know? Um, I'll tell you. Right I'll look now. it up. I, I just pulled it up. Okay. What do we All got? right. So the rest of your schedule is, and I quote: Sacramento tonight. Half and half. Then you at Chicago. Dub. Chicago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At Milwaukee. That's a loss. Mm-hmm. Hey, with the way Milwaukee's playing, who knows? I, yeah, start. it could be a win technically. Cause they lost the, 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 the I'm not gonna lie. lie. It's, a, it's a home game for Milwaukee. Okay. Dane's been out for Dane's been out for five games, but he'll be they, back. They lost the they lost the Wizards the and the Grizzlies back to back games. It's possible. But, Dane will but be back. Milwaukee for no reason. Actually. Well, after that, you're at Chicago, which that's a dub. Yeah. And then you're at Boston. That's a L. We could win that. We could win that. We could win that. I feel like they might Sacramento. I think you guys win Sac. No, you guys lose tonight. Yeah. We're deflated as a team right now. I think if the Bucks don't play their starters and the, the Celtics don't play their starters, we win both those games. Yeah, I agree with that. that I possible. could see the Celtics not playing their starters either because they did clinch first seed and best record in the NBA. Yeah, yeah that's possible. I could see that, yeah. yeah. So I could see these guys playing like six minutes or like 12 minutes in the entire game and then calling it. Sure. Yeah. Um, I think you guys lose to Sacramento. I think you guys lose to Milwaukee. I say you beat Boston only because I think they do rest. And then you got Brooklyn and Chicago to close out the year. Two so. dubs. Yeah, so. We play Chicago three times in seven that games. Is, that's kind of crazy. It's kind of beautiful. I love that. That's very beautiful. That's, that looks like a five and two closing out the season record. I can, I can. Yeah, I think you guys are fine. Yeah. Staying out to play in at least. Um, I would be weary because Miami's two games behind you as well. Sure. Uh, Miami schedule. is Miami. That's true. I'm going to look at their schedule right now. They might have a light schedule. I hope not. And their schedule is they got Philly tonight, then they got Houston, Indiana, oh. Atlanta, Dallas, Toronto, Toronto. They got a light schedule. Yeah. Houston, Indiana. Ooh, Tobias, Harris versus, Tobias Harris versus Jimmy Bubba. said Houston, Indiana, Dallas. Yeah. Houston, Indiana, Atlanta, Dallas. Atlanta, Dallas. I okay. can see them losing those. Long, long, long. Oh. I can see them losing. They probably the, I can see them losing the Atlanta, Houston but I see game, them game and the Dallas game. Yeah. The Philly game, yeah. too, actually. Yeah. Plus, with Embiid yeah, back be hard. again, so it's gonna yeah. be it's gonna be, it's gonna be a good what game. Are, what Orlando got? Because I think we like a game behind them right now. Y'all are half a game behind Orlando, actually. Uh, yeah. Orlando has. 
uh, the fifth. So they're off today, but Friday they have the Hornets. All seventh, right, no more. Yeah, Bulls, Rockets, Bucks, Sixers, Bucks. Bucks, Sixers, Bucks. That could be tough. That could be tough for them. But the, the I think the Bucks are locked into the two seed. They're not. Bucks, Sixers. Oh yeah, the Cavs are a game Bucks. behind, and the Magic are two games behind them. Bucks, Sixers, Bucks. No, we might I need that. That that, ma- that Magic and Bucks two out of two games to end the season, like two out of three games to end the season, they might determine like who gets the higher seed in that matchup. That's yeah, that Bucks, Sixers, Bucks is going to be nasty. I'm not gonna lie. And we're playing Brooklyn and Chicago at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Brooklyn's a home game at that point. No, oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. At this point. Brooklyn's always going to be a home game for you. Guys. For everyone. I mean, for everyone at this point. It days, you know what I mean? They have no van. The road even when they're not on the road, bro. Right. Sure. Um, so, Which is it's kind of sad. Guys that top seed, so yes. what do you want your team to do, Phil? You want them to just rest out? Mm. I know John doesn't, but. I feel like we should play certain games just to see how certain scenarios will look like. Like the game against, what was the, the game against? Um, I guess the Hawks. I think uh, Coach Mazzola mentioned like switching through one through five. I guess that's why Przingis was guarding Jamal, Mur- uh, not Jamal Murray, but Dejounte Murray in that final shot for the game winner. Maybe like certain scenarios like that, but mostly mostly rest, just because um, the last thing we want is an injury last second, and then we're screwed in the playoffs. So, you know, probably try certain say- things out. So some live runs here and there. I'm gonna say something that's gonna hurt Phil's feelings. Um, Jason Tatum would have definitely gotten it if he wasn't so average this year. I don't mean to be like that. He had 45 twice, and he had a bunch of 35 games, and he misses a lot of shots. I don't mean to be like that, Phil, but he misses a lot of shots. So if your boy could just be not average for one game and get me 50, you know what I mean? I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. A little average this year. I don't mean to be like that. Oh, but, I mean, since, since we're on the topic of it. Um, great player. Just look. Yeah, John is one leg away from catching his price fix parlay. It's just a team to score one 50-point game. But then we also have another one on the side with me, John, and TJ. TJ chefed up this one. That's what um, I'm really rooting for. Most of, it, most, of, most of the picks were him. I just want to give a quick shout out. He It was a great six picks. Uh, it was mostly his picks. I think me and John just like what he had. Ted Holmgren over 13 and a half points per game. He's averaging 16, 17. Oh, Al Prince Sangoon to get one triple double. He has two, I believe, on the season. And he got he got the first one against Boston. Uh, Donovan <laughs> Mitchell. Uh, two and a half double doubles. He got six. Yeah, that Easy. was mad low. I don't even know why they did that. Yeah, I don't. They definitely screwed him over on that. Uh, Kid Cunningham, the average six point two or more assists. He is at seven point five. Troy Young, hopefully he doesn't come back the rest of the year. Uh, average nine point nine assists or more. He's at ten point eight. So hopefully he just you know he, he come back in the plan. You know if the Hawks are like set where they're at, just come back. In the plan, this those stats will matter for the regular season, so we'll be okay. And then Devin Booker, the one that we've been sweating for the last two weeks or so, more than two and point one three points made per game. So, and he's at two point three right now. So, and according to Elijah, we locked it already. So, it's locked in. It's locked in. So I did the math. I looked at so, that schedule. Nice. Phoenix has a nice schedule. So yeah, we, we put seventy five dollars total to win eighteen seventy five, which is about six twenty 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 five. Uh, for me, John, and TJ. So, TJ MVP. Shout out, shout out, TJ. Hey man. Hey, if we weren't de- degenerate gamblers, I'm just yeah. saying TJ would be winning a little bit less. I'm just, that that's true, you right. Yeah, John put it. John put in the last what 25, 30, 50? Dog, I was, I was about winning this. I'm not even up front. I was. Hey, you put that much belief in TJ. That, to be fair, to be fair, TJ. On some real, I appreciate you being that muscle pleasant piece because we, me and Phil constantly try to do something at the beginning of the season and it's good it's it gets there you know what uh, i mean but like this was a little push you know what i mean so i appreciate well, i mean um me personally I, I hit my last nba season probably last okay, year. okay that's very nice uh, of you. <laughs> that's very nice of you you hit your last one last year yeah but you didn't share that one with us remember, remember i did had that i you shared it and share I, I, I shared it and i posted it on all socials definitely so. did after so. the fact though we made one together <laughs> beforehand and then yeah, he I, was I, like he had one in his pocket he oh no like, no the ones i told you, you you were iffy about so that's why you didn't like them some iffy about, but you didn't make the final. All right, whatever. Keep going, you. <laughs> so yeah, I just want to say when it does cast. Thank you, TJ. So, thank you, TJ. Shout out. Um. So last thing before I go into the games, Embiid is back. How far do we think the Sixers will go? Do we think they stay in the eighth seed and the play-in, or do they move up? They move down. How we're seeing this new look Sixers with a finally somewhat healthy Embiid? Because I think they're rushing back. Not gonna lie to you. So sure. I don't know how this, how good the Sixers team's gonna be. Uh, but what, what were we How far are they behind seven? 
They are, as of right now, they're the eighth seed. They're uh, about two games, two and a half games behind the Pacers for the seventh seed and the Miami Heat for the sixth seed. So, no, it's there, eight. yeah, and they're five games ahead of the Bulls of, for ninth. So, yeah, that's I think they're like a little too late in the year to really make the push to come back. I mean, yeah. yeah, they're not going to have the chemistry that they need, but. I kind of like the idea of them playing the Bucks first round. Ooh, I hear what you're saying. Yeah. That's sneaky. I like you that. Think, you think it's a ridiculous move before before anything happens? Like, this is a ridiculous move because Joel Embiid can't get paid any more money. You know what I mean? It does, like, you know, his awards, that was all fucked up. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. what I'm saying is basically, like, if he gets hurt and he's out for another year on top of it, does it not just ruin it? You know what I mean? Um, I don't know where they at really. They, like there's they're in such a weird spot because it's really just him. They had a solid supporting cast, but Maxie's been carrying, but he can only do so yeah. much. <laughs> but like they're not like we know they're not going that far. Sure. So I mean, he just want to play though. Like I understand that part of it. He always want to give them a chance, but uh, if he does get hurt again, it's gonna get. Yeah, I, I I think John mentioned it. Another, it's gonna be like a K, KD Golden State yeah, scenario where they brought him in too late, but they, yeah. they tried to force him back in the, in the finals and then ruptured. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah, how old is Joan Beat? Is he is he past thirty three? I think he's only twenty eight. Okay, he, good. I I just he's, 30, he's thirty. Oh damn! Damn. I just don't want him to waste his career on this one team. No offense. I don't mean to be like that, but I'll never really root for Philly. And oh, I enjoy yeah. him as a player. You know what I mean? But he's gonna go to Miami. I'm with Jimmy. I go somewhere <laughs> and wins. I really I would, that's not I wouldn't be surprised team. actually. Th- there's been rumors for that for uh, forever. Oh uh, yeah. There's he been rumors Jimmy. since Jimmy Butler left for Miami. I'm just saying, I don't mean to be like that. <laughs> then again, there's been rumors uh, for everybody in the Miami jersey, so that's I, a valid, valid point as well. Yeah. Like just like the, just like the Lakers, <laughs> yeah, both of them. Like yeah, exactly. Anybody the free agent, Paul George. Jersey swap, right? So, um, okay. Uh, oh, one more thing. Uh, the Kings they lose uh Kevin Herter and, and Malik Monk for the year. Well, unless it's the West First Conference Finals, but let's be realistic. I don't think they're gonna make it there. So, you know, I, it's gonna be very interesting to see how they play seasons out. They are the seventh seed, I believe, right now in the West. Yep. Uh, the King, the Suns are a half a game behind. The Lakers are one game behind, and the Warriors are three games behind. So, I think they they could probably move down to like the eighth, ninth, tenth seed with the way they've been growing for the Warriors. Yeah. yeah, I mean the Kings if they have Sabonis and Fox, but that depth in the guard spot without Herder and Fox, I think kill, kills them. Plug and knock on the plane. How far down. is Houston from ten? Uh, they are three games behind. Oh damn! I, I think it might be closer. cooked. Yeah. And the Warriors and, and Rockets play tonight. Yeah, I thought it was like two or like a game. Well, yeah. blame Dallas. It's their fault. They, it could have been a perfect scenario, but they ruined it. <laughs> Pain. But I understand. Dallas had to do what they had to do. They're fighting for their own playoff seating as well, so it's understandable. It just sucks that the Warriors, that the Rockets have to – probably will miss the play. But, hey, it is what it is. I'm fine with that. Yeah, so we see – we probably all agree Kings play in knockout. I, I I don't even want them to be in the play in at this point. Like, the Rockets are six games in, like, behind. Deal with this injury bug. Like I'd rather just I'd rather just them fall out the play in entirely and Houston just take over that spot. Six game swing. Let's pray for it then. <laughs> it can happen. A lot of it's a lot of games. Yeah. Yep, seven left. Have to lose out and Houston has to win out. That's what probably have to happen. Pretty much. But hey. We'll see. A bunch of play. Oh, there's seven games left in the season. We'll see what moves. There's gonna be a lot of jumping to spots. And hey, maybe the Knicks so, add hey, to it tonight. To it's mm-hmm. possible. I forgot they lost both of them. So bonus them will have fun though. Yeah. Hey, we'll see what happens. So, uh, anything else before we move on to the games? Uh, yeah. Let's talk about my team because nobody wanted to bring them up. I just did brought them up. 
not like you brought them up in the conversation. You gotta pass it over. You gotta be like, oh, because mm-hmm. yeah. I, I thought you were gonna add to it. As no, we were having a full conversation before about everybody's team. Let me just talk about my team. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, we're winning the NBA finals. All right, cool. Next, as you should. <laughs> put, my, put five dollars on it. You're going far. You're going far, but I don't know if you win the NBA finals. All right, I'm gonna be you like, what, bro? Do it, do it, do it, do it. Yeah. What? I, I, everyone put five dollars on your team right now to win NBA championship. Absolutely not. We just lost Julius yeah, Randle. Who, who actually, to? that's the best time to put it on. Our exactly. It's, it's, our what, it's what it's expected. Yeah. Our job. All right. How much would I win? I just want to see. Four dollars. Yeah, he not gonna get nothing from that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to be. Five like dollars wins me a nice little 125. What do I got to lose? TJ, look it up for me. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm about to, I'm about to check. Right I'm off it for a week. I'm chilling. Just said, I do not want to relapse. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm fine with it because I know it's. I'm not betting anything too much. You know what I mean? I think, and that's the one thing that I, if we're gonna talk about betting in our the channel, Knicks, the Knicks are, Knicks are plus six thousand, bro. Five dollars, mm. three hundred. Five dollars wins me nine dollars. Five dollars is three hundred. That's actually almost a decent investment. Five dollars wins you what? Nine dollars. Yes. Nine dollars is crazy. Eight, eight fifty to be exact. That's you crazy. better bet that right now, Phil. You better kind of look bad, yo. It looks. Are you putting your five dollars down, Phil? I'm just. For, we for, doing for, that for, for the moment? Why not? I mean, Phil should. I mean, they got the best odds to yeah, win. They, they had the best odds last year down the road, and then why not win nine dollars? You did it. I'm yeah. Right now. All right. I'm I'm not doing it. I'm all right. TJ, what's up? We doing it right now. I'm doing, doing it right now. I'm doing it right now. Damn. Yep. Done. Cash. It's in there. Nice. Good. I hope you win your. How much would you win? Oh, scary, bro. Elijah. I can't see. Hey. Uh, One thirty. <laughs> okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. You put five down. Okay. I see you. I'm, okay. Scary, I'm all right with it right now. You know what break, I mean? Break your break for one second. <laughs> We're gonna sit here, cash out, unavailable in thirty seconds. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, hey, That's what yeah. it was like once I put the Aaron Rodgers bet down. Oh, I'm sorry. It was like, are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> yes, we got it. <laughs> so, um, that's an NBA talk. We have two games to get out of the way before we head out. So, these are all for our intern, TJ. So, the first one is going to be a 1v1. Um, basically, TJ will go against one of us. He can choose. Who oh, can – basically the, 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 the Jets version of you and Elijah's game, John, where you okay, have to name cool. a team back and forth. So, team TJ, you will choose who, who you want to go 1v1 against, and then the other two will decide what team will they pick be um, going up against. So, you can choose, TJ. Who do you want to go 1v1 against? And wait, what sport? NBA. Okay. Well, who want to play, bro? I don't feel like to. <laughs> nah, you pick, man. You pick. <laughs> You you wanted to play. This is your this is your. Nah, your nah, nah, hold on. I'll pick I'm a number one through five. That's mad easy. Everybody's the same number. Four. I already know. Okay. That's not four. Three. Yeah, that's three. Five after five. All right. That's so three. Okay. Yeah, that's three. Well, well, Elijah and John pick a random NBA team, and we have to go name them back and <sighs> forth until we can't. So you guys can choose. Yeah. All right. Memphis. Hold on, hold on, Elijah. Oh let me ask God. you a of questions about TJ. Go ahead, John. All right, we know he's a New York fan, so let's stay away from that. Uh, can is there a team that you know, like, is there a player that you know he really liked growing up that's not even close to New York? Ah, shit. There we go. So I don't know this thing like that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm talking about you know, you know what I mean? Come on, growing up, he was a Knicks and Nets fan, so Damn. he didn't like anybody, he wasn't like an extremist, like, uh, I don't know, like a Kobe, like, uh, like, uh. Like a Dwight Howard, like I don't know, you know what I mean? Like we need to pick something that's like. I ain't gonna lie, bro. This feel like a couple of counts. I don't know. Um, <laughs> like a couple of counts. Who was this nigga? Who did just? Who did he grow up on? Um, I don't think it was Kobe. Oh, Alonzo just was, hit his first one of the season. It wouldn't have been A. Right. Triple B's. Um, it oh. wasn't. It wasn't a Peter big. Peter Alonzo home run. Hey. Nice. DJ, it wasn't a big, right? No. I feel like he's a mellow guy. Okay. We go Nuggets? Denver? No, uh, we go Grizzlies. Grizzlies? Oh, all right. I like Grizzlies. Crazy, but okay. Grizzlies a little crazy, but all right. Let's see. I it. Reach in my bag. Oh, I just picked okay. a hard one. I was going, I was going thunder. I was going. No, I knew he wasn't gonna make it easy. Like I already knew that. Okay. But all right, but I 
So yeah, you guys can, I'll put, I'll put you guys can choose to go first, then we'll, we'll kick things off. Oh no, it's, it's not. Oh, it's, it's a one v one. Got gotcha. to cut. Wait, yeah. Yeah, I just go in until somebody fails, right? Yep. Five seconds. Yep. Timer. I, how, 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 how long are we giving each person? Like ten seconds to guess. Three five. seconds. Five. Three. Five. Three. Five. 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 I was saying five. three because you got to get through it. You feel me? True. Like? True. Yeah, but after we get through the like the regular names, like it's gonna take a little minute. Not a minute, but like it's gonna take a little longer. So, TJ, you, you, TJ, you can start things off. I'll give you first. <sighs> I'm gonna take the easy one. We're gonna go, Ja. Desmond Bain. Jaron Jackson Jr. Stephen Adams. Marcus Smart. G damn, Gigi Jackson. That's my pick. Um, DeAndre Melton. Uh, Mark Gasol. Um, Mike Conley. Tony Allen. I was going to go there next. Zach Randolph. Okay. Uh, we're going to go Jason Williams. Rudy Gay. Uh, Xavier Tillman. Um, Tyus Jones. Powell Gasol. Um, Mike Miller. Vince Carter. Jeff Green. Mm, Vince oh Williams. God, <laughs> <laughs> um, Vince Williams, yeah. Dylan Brooks. Yeah. Uh Jacob Gilliard. Um, Brandon Clark. Uh we're gonna go with Cow Corver. Oh, 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 that was close. That's a good night. Um Grizzlies, Grizzlies. I said Mike. Oh, Jason Williams. I don't know if he said it or not. He said Jason Williams already. Damn, Oof. I didn't hear it. <laughs> All right. White chocolate that guy. Honestly, I was done after that. They say like Kenneth Lofton, you feel me? Yeah. Nah, I was going I was trying to get all the old heads. I like, was doing the same thing. Okay. Couldn't so, even hey. think. Hey, that's the one V one. If you want to see more of those and random clips. I was calm, I was calm. Down below. Okay, so I got another one though. Oh, you that's want to see barely here, you feel me? I gotta do this one. Oh, um, man. first of all, how you doing real quick, bro? I'm chilling, bro. All right. How many Portland Trailblazers do you think you can name oh. in 30 <laughs> Honestly, I get time. You can get 10? Okay. Yeah. I bet. I got the timer right here. Are we going to start in three, two, one, go. All right. Dame Lillard, CJ McCollum, Alfred Camino, Anthony Simons, Scoot Henderson, Shadon Sharp, um, Delano Banton. Um, Mo Harkless, uh, Lamarcus Aldridge, Patty Mills. Um, ten seconds. Portland, Portland, Portland. Mello. Uh, eleven. Damn. Nine. Eleven. That's Damn, not- I'll take eleven. Uh-huh. I'll take eleven. There but a go. team on Portland that's not is bad. crazy. Hey, we have more of those down below. Make sure you go check them out. I got one more. I got one more. The more. records are still alive. Let's go. 15 Portland is still the re- is boss of the record. Let's go. <laughs> I got yes. one more. Let's get it. 15 John, is still alive. John, how you doing, bro? I'm doing all right. How many Charlotte Hornets, Bobcats, do you think you can name? Three. I, d- I don't. You think I, I watch the Charlotte Hornets? Then never mind. Okay, my <laughs> point, my dog. I mean, Three? how about let's. All right, let's restart. I, do, I don't even want to play a game. I'm good, dog. All right, like, fine. I'm, I'm, I'm fine for the day. Yeah. How many New Orleans Pelicans Hornets do you think you can name? 30 seconds. Uh, I'm going to say eight. Eight? All right, ready? Set? Go. Uh, Chris Paul, Aaron Gordon, Ryan Anderson, Raven That's only two. That's only two. That's only two. You said Hornets and Pelicans. You said Aaron Gordon. Oh, oh I'm Eric. I said Eric Gordon. I heard Aaron. Damn, you oh, just damn. put some ass on us. Oh, yeah. oh the Mets won a game. Hey, congrats. I heard Aaron Gordon. Oh. So, you just want to start with the team? Yeah, we can yeah. start again. I'll give yeah. you another 25 yeah, seconds. Just, yeah, just, just give me a different team then. That'll be good. All right. So one more team. Um, We can restart. Yeah. How many Detroit Pistons do you think you can name in under 30 seconds? Oh, my God. Did I do that? Yeah, you did it with me. Oh, yeah. I did oh, you did? Already. Have him do the math? Yeah. No. No? All right. I'm oh, my gosh. Portland. Oh, my gosh. We fucking did it, boys. Mets won a game? 
Yes. Hey, there we go. I didn't just say that. He did just say that. I yeah. Thought you said that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I did not hear you say it. I'm not gonna try to. Hate yeah, you. I, I heard you. I heard you. I did not hear you say it. Sorry about it. I'll put up my volume. My bad, dog. That's on there me. You That's on me. I feel you though. I, I have a low pitch voice too, so it just, it just I didn't I didn't get the my bad. Sorry, homie. That's finally won the game. And then, didn't you say yeah. or who was who was it that said Pete Alonso hit a home run? Was that you or Phil? Okay, that was Phil. I, I had said it and then he said it after. But... Oh shit! I didn't hear that. Ah, that was my... <laughs> all right, I'm all the way up then. Fuck, I look like all right, cool. Now you shouting. Go ahead. <laughs> Let's go. That's right. I love it. Let's get it. Okay, so, Elijah, He's trying to find the hardest team ever. Look at him. No, I'm not. I'm Texas. Uh, uh, <laughs> I wasn't even like, thinking yo, about what, it. What's that? Portland oh, was God. wild. I even say Brandon Roy. I'm tight. That's crazy. Right. Are you ready? How many Los Angeles Clippers do you think you can name in 30 seconds? I'm going to say about eight. All right, ready? Yep. Set. Go. Russell Westbrook, James Harden, Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, uh, Evisius Zubac, uh, Mason Plumley, Chris Paul, JJ Reddick, Glenn Davis, Matt Barnes, DeAndre yeah. Jordan, Austin Rivers, Grant Hill, uh, Paul Pierce. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Oh, uh, Norman Powell. Uh, oh, um, Hi. Fuck, what's his name? Damn, I was trying to get the legend. I was trying to get a legend. I was gonna say Blake. I did say Blake. Did he said Blake. He said Blake. Oh, I didn't hear it. He tied the record. As I counted, he tied the record. Damn. Oh, I'll take it. Um, pretty good. Yo, next time, can I not get Portland? That was crazy. <laughs> it's random. I, I don't know. It was his choice. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I feel like that's probably the hardest team for me. So next time, I'll be valid. I, well, I mean, hey, yeah, yeah, you did well. Uh, you did well. I think that was your first time playing the Not game. Even solid. Mm -hmm. You got eleven. Phil tied his record again with fifteen. I think my record is fourteen. John, what's yours? I think it's ten. Yes, yeah, ten. ten next, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. I'll try to get it. Up. I'll try to get up my record better. I haven't watched basketball in a minute, so my bad. Yeah, you're good. Hey, ten and ten is the good. You you said like you you beat what you said. You said eight or seven, so you beat your projection. You beat your you beat your over under. Congrats, my brother. Right. So, hey, that is the pod. But before we head out, last words. Want to go first? TJ, intern, want to start kick things off? I don't, <laughs> Pain. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I just got another alert. He's talking about he re-injured his shoulder, and that's why he had to get surgery. So. Oh. <sighs> yeah. Hey, man, it is what it is. We see how the season go from now that's what it is. I remember last year there were a bunch of Nick fans that didn't even want Julius Randle on the team. Nah, yeah, it's crazy. So, <laughs> so I mean, now we're Matt. Not damn. Now he's not available. Damn. damn. I don't want to say. I mean, there's a lot of Knicks that are injured though. So I mean, it's 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 a mystery gotcha. going in the playoffs. So, John, how about you? Last one. Hassan Reddick, uh, trade. Yeah, I did. What'd you think of that? I kind of liked, liked that. it. I, don't know. I liked it a lot. I'm a little it's iffy on him because he's an eagle, but he's pretty um, good, right? Nah, yeah. I mean, I'm not. I just know the name, so like, okay. <laughs> but like I know he's solid, so um, I definitely liked. It. Elijah, how are you feeling about him? I feel great about the trade. Honestly, we basically we traded. We got a, We traded him. Uh, we gave Philly a third rounder. So I feel like we traded mm -hmm. Bryce up in a third rounder to get Sam mm -hmm. Reddick. I would have rather not given them a third rounder and Bryce yeah. up, but it's not a. You feel me? We don't lose too much here. Valid. Valid. That's that's it on my last words. Uh, Elijah, how about you? Uh, my last words are get money, drink water. Uh, me and TJ got two more games left in our regular season. We locked in. Um, we both going for 30 in these next two games, though. So. Oh, shit. Here's my, question. Here's my question. If we both get 25 in the same game, do we both get a jersey? Who gets it first? That's the question. Damn. I said whoever gets it first. Somebody would. Yeah, somebody somebody would somebody would would have, have to be to selfish. Get it. Somebody's going to have yeah. Oh. Whoever gets it first, Phil pays for the first one. I'll buy the second one. Okay. Okay. You gotta get the second one. You gotta. You gotta get it. You know what I'm saying? Not for sure. There you go. There's. There's your. Op op there's your opportunity. Copy. Say less. All right. No, Unless you want a next jersey, then, or not, no, you can have a next jersey. I'm at a next jersey. Unless you want a next jersey, then I'm not buying that. You know what I mean? No. <laughs> no. Nah, nah, I'm getting the Brunson joint. All right. That's what I'm oh, talking yeah, about. That's what yeah, I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah. yeah. 
Okay. Oh, you know who jersey I'm getting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Huka. Huka. No. Really? No? Not okay, Huka? <laughs> yeah, but what? Right, yeah, like... <laughs> Yeah. Um, so hey, yeah. Good luck on the rest of your season. Hopefully, the how how are the stat challenges going? Actually, I can tell you right now. Uh, you got your you got the lines. Um, what you had? I got it. Oh yeah, go ahead. All right. I can tell you here. Who are we doing first? Do yours first. All right. Damn, that shit's disgusting. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Points per game. You need nine and a half. What you got? I'm not there right now. Let's just... yeah. <laughs> What's the number? All right, I'm at six. Oh, okay. Field goal know. percentage, 35%. I'm 36. Hey, there we go. Three-point percentage, 20%. 33. Hey. There That's we go. Good. Over two and a half assists. I'm at 3.4. Hey, there we go. Under two and a, under two and a half turnovers, basically. I'm at 2.4. Okay. Cut down. So... And 425, that's the last one. All right, um, mine. I already know I'm not at points. I need eight point eight and a half. You're six point eight, not four off. All right. Uh, field goal percentage thirty four percent. I know I'm you're at right. forty nine. Yeah, my field goal percentage is a little crazy. No word. Okay, good for you. Maybe Damn, you hit nah. the ball. Damn, that's crazy. Three point percentage twenty six. I already know that's in the yeah. Case. You're at forty three. Oh damn. Sure. Okay, Grant Williams. Nice. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, average one assist per game. Don't don't even read it. It's wait, 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 what, what is it? <laughs> really? Wow. Half, halfway that. closer than you thought That's you'd way. be. Look at that. It's really you know what you know what brought it up. Last game I had two assists. Hey. <laughs> All right. Cool. Just get two. Just get two. Gonna, last two games. I don't want to say proud, but I'm proud. I know you don't want to be proud, but and then seventy five percent from free throw, which I'm at hundred percent right now. So. Yeah, we're nice. What's the number total? Four for free throws. Four. Four four okay. Uh, five. Mm-mm. Oh, okay. Okay. So hey, yeah. Were the dimes nice? So we got. No. Is it two seasons? Two seasons. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just gotta ask. You know, like, yeah, it's two games in the playoffs. Gotcha. Where are you guys? Where are you guys right in the seating right now? Um. I'll pull it up. Back. I got it. Shit on favorites. <laughs> You've been undefeated. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, one, two, three, four. Out of fourteen, we're eighth. That's pretty good. But the two teams ahead of us played less games than us, so that's why they're ahead of us. Gotcha. Okay. Is it all teams make it? Is it top eight? Nah, it's like. It should. Be I don't top. even know. It should be top ten out of the fourteen. I think. Sure. Is there like a buy involved then? Yeah, we we got the last week off, and then the other two teams. I mean, the other teams played that last week. So our games go up to the what's after the. What's it? Is, the, is, the, is the playoff seeding? You get a buy. Our, game, first game our game last game, game is the thirteenth. The season's last game is the twentieth. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Okay. Hey. We'll make sure to stay yeah. updated on the Corona Hoops IG page. Facts. Okay. Um, for me, hey. NBA playoffs is come is coming close as well. Uh, NCAA March Madness is wrapping up in about next week or two. Hey, MLB is here as well. Uh, hey, I, I just wanted for us to cash out our price picks parlay so I can delete that forever because this trophy shit. I have not touched the trophy shit. I don't know about you, TJ, but no, nah, I don't. Nope. I'm looking to I'm looking to delete as soon as we get our, our money. So yeah, I don't really yeah, we are done with price picks. It's just like we're done with the 80s, 90s, 70s. We're done with price picks as well. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Oh, we, we might have to pull up to some WNBA games. Because I'll be in NYC next month. So that's a, um, but the season starts later on than that. So. Yeah, um, yeah. So, hey, with that being said, from the guys, I'm excited to see where we go from here. More pods, et cetera, et cetera. Playback, there's always. And then we have our WrestleMania watch party this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Tune to that. We post them about that. Um, I think tomorrow, whoever airs. So, hey, from that, that being said, check out all our audio and visual stuff. Check out our socials. And uh, we're going to hit the outro real quick. Chosen by Elijah. Name a song. Uh, Fire and Ice. Nice. Gotcha. We'll see you guys next week. Is he here, kid?
You gotta just go for it. Don't think about what comes after or what came before. You just gotta bend your knees, take a deep breath, and jump. And you might think, what if I fall? Well, what if you don't? A lot of things could change with just a conversation. No confrontation, but we sit back as the time is waiting. And all these masks to make it seem like we don't have to face it. Man, I got issues I ain't speak on since my graduation. And life is crazy, man. Sometimes I feel like giving up. They say try God, but sometimes he don't answer quick enough. Phone ringing, people trying to talk, but I ain't picking up. They only ask for favors. And I feel like I give enough, but time is passing by. These problems growing old. Life is paralyzing, man. I'm almost comatose. I'm hearing rumors, but it's gotta be a joke It's people speaking on my name that I don't even know I try to keep it calm, stay out of the way A small smile when someone mispronounced my name Love is a game, but I ain't coming out to play Cause half my heart is in a vault and the other in another safe I got some work to do, I promise that I'm growing still Got a few spots, when I'm stressed, I just go to chill I know the truth and people ask if I'm okay But I don't want no one to worry, so the pain, I ignore it still But honestly, man, every week is really something new I put my heart on ice, my wife don't get us something blue I put my heart on this, so listen and get comfortable I put my heart on ice, my wife don't get us something blue